everyone, it's Lisa, and today I thought I would do a quick video. A lot of you have asked me how I do my hair. Now that I am just letting it, I'm using no heat, no hair dryer, no curling iron, no, no extensions, nothing. So I had to get out of the house this morning, and last night I actually videoed how I did my hair. Yeah, just kind of leave it parted in the middle. You know, just how it falls, and I just don't touch it. And then I'm just going to let it dry as much as it can, or it will, and then go to bed. And then I will style it in the morning. Which is, it's really, I feel silly even talking about it. Let me turn this air condition down, even off for a minute. And what I do is I, last night, before I got in the shower, I combed it out or brushed it out with my Olivia Garden brush. So it was, and I really try to, you know, comb my scalp really good. And you want to take some of that natural oil that's, you know, near your scalp and run it down your hair and just get all the knots out. Then... I got in the shower. Last night I used Monate Renew. I shampooed twice. Then I used the Colleen Rothschild hair mask. I use a hair mask every time, but I do not take it up to the roots. I just kind of start with the ponytail. Like I'll put it, I'll grab, I'll literally have some in my hand and I'll grab my hair and then run it down the ponytail. And then I will kind of whatever's left in my hand, kind of take it down the sides too. Because you know how, you know, sensitive and fragile the sides are. Let me, um, wonder if I put this back if we'll have more sun. I don't know if that made a difference or not. It might help. But anyway, um, so... Then I leave that on. I don't leave it on like five or 10 minutes or anything. I usually will just finish up whatever I'm doing. Maybe I'm scrubbing all over. Maybe I'm, you know, just doing something. And then I squeeze it out good. And I try to just stand there just a few minutes so that I get most of that bulk moisture out of my hair. Then this is something new that I've been doing the past three to four times. I have noticed if you do not put your hair in a towel at all, you get a better curl and you get less frizz and you get more, uh, more of a funky look. You know what I mean? It's like less uniformed and just, I like it. I, I kept having a hard time when I would take it out of the towel, the fronts of my hair would already be dry. So, what I started doing is, John ordered, he got so, I bought some towels from Home Goods or something, and they're that kind that are like a towel on one side, but they're kind of like smooth and cottony on the other, and I think he just didn't like them, so he ordered some of the My Pillow towels that are guaranteed to be so absorbent. They're real thick, and they really are, guys, they are so absorbent. They're more absorbent than even the microfiber hair towel. So what I've been doing is wringing my hair out, and then when I get out of the shower, I don't flip my head over. I just literally take one of those towels and, you know, squeeze my hair with the towel. I don't rough it up at all. Seems like I do flip my hair over and just really squeeze the ends and just get that the water that would drip down your back. Then I take the towel, flip it over, dry my back, dry all around here so that I can go ahead and put my nightgown on because I shower at night. Then I just let it go. I don't part it. I don't comb it. I don't do anything. And I will put a picture right in here of what it looks like and a lot of times it will be flipping up like it is right here. So then I will go over just right beside John's sink. Like last night I put almost like two and a half, almost three pumps of this Kerastase oil. I 
you could use any oil that you have as long as it's a good one that's very like the Olaplex oil to me that's just you can't get enough of it and it just needs to be something that really coats your ends so this is my favorite and then I had this invisible wear volume whip humidity resistance natural hold mousse underneath or with my hair stuff and I was just thinking I needed just a little tiny bit of something just to put like on that top layer of hair that's probably just been bleached the most and it dries the quickest just to get it to be not quite as fuzzy so for the past three times I have used you shake it well pump into hand dis distribute evenly I have been doing just like one pump just like not even the size of the palm of my hand and then I kind of take it like this and literally just kind of go like this okay the reason I have my hair up right now is I wanted to show you what I do in the morning so this morning I did my typical you know things that you do around the house then I put my hair up like this to do my makeup so that's all that's happened in the morning I or after I put my makeup on I take the clips out and this is what I'll have so you can see it's kind of, um, I like it. It's kind of messy and curly. And I honestly, I believe it was slightly damp when I, here, I'll take my sunglasses off. It was slightly damp when I went to bed. So what I wanted to show you is you could either leave it like this, but I have always wondered how do people get that cool kind of just flip over hair like you see in most ads you see on Pinterest Instagram because if you do your hair like that it just doesn't look the same this is how you do it so it starts off with like that semi you know central part what I do is I just kind of take it flip it over run my hands through it a little bit and do this and then if you want any more volume than that pull this hair up like that and put a little bit of hairspray not a real firm one but just like I've been using the bumble and bumble spray to mode and kind of zhuzh up just underneath there but see you still get some curl it's still you know curly underneath and if the uneven kind of scraggly ends or crazy ends bother you then you can take a brush and just kind of brush out your ends but I kind of like leaving them natural and if you if that bugs you that it's only halfway on the side I really don't think it should but because I let it dry in the middle basically and I let those pieces kind of stick up in the front, just how they came out of the towel. That's what gives me this, and what gives me this height is because I let it dry in the middle. And then you do it over to the side the next day. Now tomorrow, I will wear it, you know, basically the same way, but it won't be, it probably won't be quite as zhuzhy because I will have slept on it and I will have worn it this way all day so just the first day is the best and then the next day you can kind of go for more of a glam calmer look this is so funny I am in the back of the furthest back parking lot and these guys are okay I will give them a pass their truck is right there but usually when I come back here and I sometimes I just go park and sit and you know just take a moment and answer my texts that have been coming through while I was driving or something like that and the mall security has to go by and just it just cracks me up so I hope that helped you some with my hair it's really I feel ridiculous even doing a video on it because it's really nothing but the whole side flip thing has been fun and something different for me so what I thought I would do now is you know I like to take you guys to my favorite places I thought we would ride through one of my favorite neighborhoods 
and it's called Parkside. And all of the houses in there are kind of like that, the row house, Charleston style. And they've all got like palm trees and stuff. It's just the most beautiful little neighborhood. And I would love to live there. It's very expensive, but I would love to live there. John just doesn't like, he doesn't want to live in the middle of town. This is kind of like, they live right off of this shopping center and right near the beach. It's a really a great location, but because we've always lived outside of Wilmington, he doesn't want to be inside the city limits, which I understand there's a lot more taxes, a lot more, just a lot more issues. But I love this neighborhood so much and I love to ride through it. So I thought I would take you with me. Okay, so we're headed over that way and it has just started raining right in the middle of the sunshine. It's actually kind of pretty. shopping mall, our old mall is Independence Mall, or I think it's Westfield or something now, and that one's kind of far away from me, it's at least 30 minutes, this is probably about 15 or 20, and this is kind of like more of an outdoor type mall, and then of course it's got hotels, and then right off of it is this neighborhood called Parkside. It's just so pretty. It's very unique, I think. They probably think I'm nuts because I'm always riding through here. I actually wanted to make the video, the hair video here, but I didn't want to upset anybody by parking. Okay, so I'm going to take you down. There's only, it's like a big circle with a street down the middle. Oh, sorry. There's another. The rain is messing up my vibe. There you go. I think you can see now how pretty they are. See, they're the type that you like park in the back. This lady's got caught out in the rain walking her dog. I love it. I love the no yard. <laughs> You're just a little bit of yard, just enough to put some hib hibiscus and stuff like that. All the different colors. Actually, that entrance right there that you see goes into like a kind of an adjoining neighborhood, an older established neighborhood. So here, let me turn you just a little bit. Hold on, let me stop and turn you. I kind of want you to be able to see down the street a little bit more. Okay. Man. So we're about back where we started, but I'm going to turn down this road and uh, you can see that the road is brick right here just to give it that vibe. And then in the center down here is like a, a waterfall and palm trees. going to go all the way around the circle so you can see. I love that peach house. It's kind of like Charleston, South Carolina. I don't know if you've ever been there, but it's beautiful. It's very, it's worth going. I'm going to 
was fun. John and I actually went there right after we got married. Our real honeymoon was on, there's the gazebo, but our real honeymoon was in, uh, we went to Maui and then we went to Oahu, Hawaii, but we actually eloped a little early because everyone was trying to make such a big deal, or his family was trying to make such a big deal out of uh, our wedding, and we didn't want to do that, so we eloped and then just called him on the way to Charleston and stayed there for the weekend. So let me do, I'm gonna go around half of it one more time and I'm gonna point you the other way. So you can see both sides. garage apartments or like a detached like guest house. John doesn't like the, you know, your guests having to park on the street or anything like that. It's just something I like and he doesn't. So that's the back of that white house. Isn't it beautiful? here a lot just to get ideas for like you know landscaping and you know different little things